here are the solutions for the extra questions I gave you at the last video. So tautologies, contradictions, or contingent well-formed formulas. We're about to get into the solutions, but as always, if you've enjoyed the videos, if they've helped you learn and you have the financial means to support me, uh, you can join the channel as a subscriber for two or five dollars a month, I should say as a member, uh, by hitting the join button down below. Uh, if not, liking, sharing, commenting, all these things help immensely, so I appreciate you no matter which method you choose. So let's get into the solutions. First one, we want to say if it's a tautology, a contradiction, or a contingent well-formed formula. So what we're doing is we're building truth tables for these, and we're seeing what our final rows are. So I'm going to set up all these truth tables for uh, A, for B, so B's will be 1, 0, A's will be 1, 1, 0, 0. First, I'm going to deal with the negation on B. So I'm taking the information in the final column, and I'm flipping it to get the negation here. Okay, so that has been done. We get 0, 1, 0, 1. Uh, now I'm going to do AND. So AND is going to take information from uh, the columns beside it. So 1, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 0, 1. Remember, AND is only true when both of them are true. So 1, 0 gives us 0, 1, 1 gives us 1, 0, 0 gives us 0, and 0, 1 gives us 0. So it's only going to be true in that second row. Okay. Uh, now we're going to do a arrow b, so it's only going to be false when we have one arrow zero, which means the rest of the rows will be true. And finally, we have this last one. So the biconditional, this takes information from column two and from column seven here with not. So it's true if the values are the same. It's false if the values are different. So maybe I will actually highlight these in boxes so we can see what numbers we're taking from a little bit more clearly. In fact, I realized that my arrow is actually off center a little bit here. So this is where we're taking our information from. So in the first row, we have one zero, the values are different. In the second row, we have zero one, the values are different. Third row, one zero, the values are different. Fourth row, one zero, the values are different. Okay, so we filled out that truth table. We see in this final column, they're all zeros. Therefore, this is a contradiction. That means that in no situation whatsoever is this true. Okay, so that's the first question. Let's do the second one. Oh, got two on this page. We got one on the next page. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's make some space. In fact, I want to actually rewrite this one out so I have a little bit more space when I do this. So then we'll do B or not A. Okay, and there'll be two brackets at the end. So let's start this truth table. So we'll have one, one, zero, zero for A, and we'll have one, zero, one, zero for B. Okay, I'll do the negation of A on the right side. So that information's taking uh, from the column of A, so that'll reverse the truth values. So we get zero, zero, one, one. Okay, that's good. Now let's do OR. So OR is going to take information from B and information from the NOT column. This is true if at least one of them is true. So 1, 0 gives us 1, 0, 0 gives us 0, 1, 1 gives us 1, and 0, 1 gives us 1. Okay, so that is good. Uh, next we're going to do the arrow. So we're going to take information from the OR column here and information from A. And it's only false if we have one arrow 0. So in the second, the second row, we see one arrow zero, so that'll be false. And then in the first row, we see one arrow one, it's true. Third row, zero arrow one. Fourth row, zero arrow one. So the first, third, and fourth rows will be true. Okay, now what we're doing is we're negating the entire thing. So we're just gonna negate everything in this third column of information here overall. So one, zero, one, one is going to flip to become zero, one, zero, zero. Okay, and if we take a look at this final column then, we have both zeros and ones. Therefore, this is a contingent well-formed formula. So it's contingent on the truth values of A and B. One more to go. Again, write this out. So we have a little bit more space to work with this. And we'll fill out all the values of B and A. 
So it makes a little bit more space. So A will be 1100, B will be 1010. Okay, let's deal with the negation of not B first. So here we go, we're just gonna flip the values of B to give us 0, 1, 0, 1. Let's do the same thing for A here. So we're gonna flip the values of 1, 1, 0, 0 to give us 0, 0, 1, 1 for not A. Okay, our negations are taken care of. Let's do A arrow B, we've done this one already in this video so that'll give us a 1011 truth table which is your standard conditional table now we have to do uh, and so we're taking information from not b information from a and b it is true when both of those are true so uh, first row 0 1 gives us 0 1 0 gives us 0 0 1 gives us 0 in the last row though we have 1 1 so that gives us a 1 here Okay, we have one more column to do. That's going to be this arrow. So we're gonna take information from and, we're gonna take information from not. So it'll be false when we have one arrow zero, it's gonna be true every other case. So in the first row, we have zero arrow zero, that's true. Second row, zero arrow zero, that's true. Third row, zero arrow one, that's true. Fourth row, one arrow one, that's true. Okay, so what we found here, in the final column is that all of them are ones everything is a one here therefore this is an example of a tautology and basically what this says is that we have a or o b and we have not b therefore we have not a and that's going to be true no matter what the values of a and b are so that's it for the solution video if you have any questions as always leave them in the comments below and i will do my best to answer you